So my name is Julian Gardner. I'm the business development manager at Milko. Uh, Milko has been around since 1981. So we specialize in the, the domains of air, land, sea, and cyber, as well as weapons. In the past 10 years, we've overgone significant expansion and diversification, um, leveraging our uh, experience, uh, expertise, as well as our dedication to provide world-leading technology to the different end users around the world in order to solve the solutions that are currently being faced around the world. So we, we've decided to display just some of our products in the range of our different uh, air, land, sea and cyber. Uh, so this is the Milkor 380. It's the flagship UAV at the moment of our products. Uh, it's a medium altitude, long endurance drone. It's designed specifically for intelligence, surveillance and reconnaissance. Uh, it can also be used for opportunistic engagement. Uh, the, the idea of the drone is to give eyes in the sky to different troops for joint operations, uh, providing uh, situational awareness for different, different troops on the ground, on the ocean, just that it depends on the mission requirements. Uh, we also have our Mokul 4x4, which is a Stanag 3 protected armored personnel carrier. It can be used as a variety of equipment, as a command vehicle, uh, an um, armored ambulance, or just a standard armored personnel carrier. Uh, we also have the Mokul IPC, which is an uh, inshore patrol craft. It can be manned or unmanned. It can take for up to four passengers for up to five days, reaching speeds of up to 50 knots for interception. Um, during the unmanned, unmanned cases, it can be used for long endurance missions of the five days, as I mentioned, for different surveillance missions. Um, also, we have the different the range of mobile weapons, uh, the lethal and, and, and non-lethal weapons that we have, which include the Super 6, the flagship product, which can shoot low velocity, medium velocity, as well as less lethal. So we've decided to come to, to Dimdex to show, show the local market our capabilities as well as our products. Uh, typically, you, you get a much better idea of the, the market when you enter these type of shows, who's here, uh, what's happening. So we wanted to come and do that, as well as all the different delegations that are coming to Dimdex. We noticed a very large influx at the show. It's their eighth edition, so they've been slowly improving and they have a very good setup here. Uh, so we wanted to come here to show our, our capabilities to the local market, as well as to the international market of delegations that do come to the show.